What's going on guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dyes and today we have a product from Grip and Rip Lax to tell you guys a little bit about. Um, I always like bringing products that are kind of lesser known out to the lacrosse community to help out, you know, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur myself and have a great respect for other entrepreneurs and more than happy to help them out, especially if I like the product and I think it's something that you guys could possibly benefit from. So, uh, big problem with lacrosse balls is that they get slippery over time with use in the sun. A number of things cause them to become shiners and they become slippery and don't perform quite as well as a ball would in a game when you're playing with brand new balls. So it's important to practice with balls that feel just like the ones you'll be using in a game or else you're going to have to adjust your throwing motion, your shooting motion and uh, your muscle memory will be off point. And when you get a really sticky, a really sticky new ball in a game uh, you're not going to throw the same as you were while you're practicing in your backyard. So this tends to happen to lacrosse balls pretty quickly. It's a problem that I have uh, playing in the warehouse, playing wall ball all the time against a brick wall, against the asphalt outside. They get really dirty and really slippery really quick. So I always need something to refurbish them. So before we did a product review on something called the Lax Ball Doctor, which was a large rig that costs about $300, which is certainly not affordable for your average lacrosse player. So today we have a solution called the Grip and Rip that is only $24.99, so much more affordable for your regular player and um, close to as effective and also much more portable. So uh, Grip and Rip was invented by a guy named James who went to the University of Delaware and it's a pretty simple solution for a problem that almost every lacrosse player has. So essentially uh, it's just a tube with their kind of neoprene Grip and Rip lax um, sleeve around it. Here we have a camo one, it comes in a couple different colors. And uh, up top it has a couple zip ties attached. And the purpose of these is actually to slide it on your lacrosse pole so that you can carry it around with you, which I thought was really smart, something that I probably would not have thought of. So you slip it right on your, uh, on your stick with your gloves and your helmet, and it's good to go. You can carry it around if you don't have a bag. So um, tube with a twist off top and um, sandpaper on the inside. So essentially what you do is you, uh, you put your lacrosse balls in here and it will resurface them. It will take a little bit of the outside rubber off so you get down to the part that feels like new rubber. So here I've got three balls I've been playing with in the warehouse for a little while. They're pretty slick and pretty dirty as you can see. So it's recommended that you use three balls because um, it fills up the tube completely and three is the maximum that you can use with the tube. So you just toss them in there, um, screw it on and just shake them up for a couple minutes. All right, there you have it. So I've shaken uh, them all up for a couple minutes. So let's see how they're looking. So they definitely still look a little bit dirty, uh, but they are certainly from feeling them before. Um, definitely much stickier and feel newer. It's not a perfect solution, but it definitely helps and I can definitely tell that some some of the rubber was taken off and they feel newer. And not only that, I got a little workout, a little out of breath here after shaking those up for a couple minutes. But um, So it definitely works for a low cost solution. Uh, it's definitely something you can consider for playing out in your backyard, playing wall ball, and playing catch. You can find these at www.gripandriplax.com. Um, I highly recommend you check them out. It's a good solution for a problem that most of us have. So uh, let me know down in the comments if any of you guys have a grip and rip, how you're liking it, if you know having uh, shiner balls is a problem for you guys. And uh, feel free to give me any other feedback in the video or any other videos you guys like to see me make. So make sure to leave this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a great day.